you might be sitting with a similar dilemma after you've done an update. So if I go here and I'll just check, up, you can see I've updated to version 2.03. Now my version 2.0 didn't have this problem. With this update, I think there's something that, that dropped out in some way, and it might be unique to my machine. Uh, all the kind of back-end configuration files. What I mean is I'm going to show you here, if you go to File and I say New, when it comes up here, I can see these categories here. And if you don't see the categories, you can click down here and just click there. The categories will appear, um, but I'm unable to create a document. And the reason for that is that under these categories, there are no presets that the system can use. So these settings over here are the presets that you save under these categories. So you can't start up a category on its own. To create a new category, you come to the bottom, you can create a category. But the focus we're going to have is on creating a preset. Now, there's an interesting thing that if I create just a blank category, the create button becomes active, but that's temporary. Because if I want to come in and create another uh, new document like this, then that button goes blank again. Let me just show you. I'm going to just make one and call it WE. There you see it comes to create and I can go and set whichever settings I want to here and create. So if I created it now, I'll create the document based on that settings. If I close this off and I go to file and new again. Then we're sitting with the problem that the create button is again, once again, gone. So how do we get to solve that more on a more permanent basis? Okay, I'm going to just remove this because I don't need that. That was just for example. I thought that probably these configuration settings of the presets would be in a configuration file. Um, I went looking and came across in the users section under uh, mine is registered under Rory. Yours would be unique to yourself. There's the dot affinity for going there. Because when I have any modifications in these file configuration files, it permeates across all three applications, designer, photo, and, and publisher. So it, most likely I would see it that it would come from the common area. So what's in the common area applies to all three applications. So go in here and under users, this is where I see it's got this dot prop call extension. And I assume this would be the, the kind of presets in here. What I did was reinstalled version 2.0. And then all these um, presets filtered in here. I copied this file, the doc preset file, which I assume has all those presets in. And then reinstalled the version 2.03 and copied it over this one. And in my case, it didn't solve it. Um, I thought if I had taken that previous configuration file, it might have solved it. I might be missing out on something. So uh, I haven't tested it far beyond that. What I'm focused on is trying to get this thing to start working. Um, so what I did was came back in here and I just created a preset. And it's a bit of a tedious process because now you're going to create your own presets. But I usually use maybe about five or six of them. So... I won't go create presets for all of these categories. Um, like, you know, I come here now, I'm going to just call this maybe web um, YouTube. Say that's the one. I'll come in and say, okay, it's going to be under my web category. And I'll use this icon. Say, okay. Once I do that, the create button comes alive again. But if I go out now, contrary to how the other one worked, if I come back and I say new, you're going to see there doesn't by default select it. If I tap on it, the create button becomes live. Okay. All the other stuff is still the same. So now I can go and maybe just add another one that I'm going to go to. Let's call this maybe A4 page. And that's for print section. Okay. And yeah, I could go and, you know, define without include margins and all that the usual. But I'm going to make that there now and then I could create but I'm going to just go out and show you if I come back in um, I have those two and if I select there I can create and create so to solve the problem is go create presets that fall under these different categories that you're going to use regularly and pretty much that's how you're going to start putting it together if you're not familiar with creating the presets 
there are certain key areas you've got to note. It's just whether you're creating the preset as a portrait or a landscape. Uh, that's important. And then these parameters that you have here. Okay, one thing to note here is that if you've created the preset and you come and you modify it, let's say we're going to include margins. And you there's no, I don't see, if I right click on here, um, there's no update button on this particular preset. So if I go and I create a document now, now it's got including margins. It's going to give me the margins. And if I just close that, if I go back again, say new document, I select this now, go to margins. You see it's not selected. It would be nice if I had an update button. I might not be seeing where this update button is. But I assume in this case, what you've got to do is if you do do a modification on an existing preset, let's maybe do that and even add that, you've got to go and create a new preset. Um, and you'll see there it will come up that you're going to be naming it as the same as that there. So I'll just take that back, see if I can overwrite it. Okay, it creates a, a total different one. So I'm going to go in there and delete that preset. So if you want to create a, any change on an existing preset, you've got to save a new one and then delete the old one or save it as a total new setting. So you uh, maybe that's a good point in that you don't accidentally overwrite your preset that you've spent maybe time on setting up. So if I wanted to create one here now that I wanted to modify this, if I double click it, see it opens, let me go back. Okay, so it's got all the settings. If I disable that, disable that, and I double click, it's going to change. See if it's carried across. Okay, it, it hasn't made any changes there. So I'm going to change, change. Let's go back there and change. And let me say, let's create a new one. Say, so, okay. And then I can just rename that one, take away the little area there. Okay, so there's no update on it. You've got to overwrite it or create a new one and delete the old one. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys now at least get the create button underway. But now let's just go and look under, um, this is under photo. If I go to new, there you see those two are also visible under photo. If I open publisher, the same thing will happen. If I'm under photo, look at this, if I'm under photo and I go in here and I delete that preset, okay, if I come back to Affinity Designer and I go new, you see there's nothing in this space here. And I go to print, okay, let's go to Photo, see what's in there. Okay, there's RT Web, YouTube. Nothing over here, so I possibly see if I restart it. I'm going to just restart Affinity Designer and then it will probably read the configuration file then. Okay, so if we've updated it in one of the applications while the other one's open, it doesn't automatically update. Uh, you've got to go in and restart the new application and let's see. There we have it. There it refreshes there. Okay, so just be aware of that. If I click there, I can go into my creating of a document. Fantastic. Okay, so that's how it works. And you'll notice that uh, the Affinity Designer have more tabs here than would be inside of Affinity Photo. So my suggestion is um, check if your workflow really needs a template that is going to be functional inside Affinity Publisher and it's got any other different tabs, go create it in that one. Um, like if I'm going to be using this mostly inside Affinity Designer and I need the, the bleed and scale to be included in that template, 
then go design it in that particular one of the three applications. It will just pull through the other applications, like with Affinity Photo, they only have three tabs over there for an item like this. Then it will only pull those three through. But if you design it in Photo and you bring it into Designer and you need Bleed or Scale that's not in the other uh, application, then it's not going to be visible or nothing will change in that area. Great stuff. So hopefully that helps you to get your Create button activated. Have a fantastic day. Be blessed and Shalom.